Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, dear friends. It's a great pleasure again to meet you here this morning. We thank God for making it possible. A great day indeed that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The word of God says in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verses 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. Allow me to share a thought about God's goodness. A thought that I've titled the alarm is on open the door the alarm is on open the door the act of opening and closing door is perhaps as frequent as meals we open doors with our knowledge we open doors without our knowledge we close them with our knowledge and you know it's something that continues a continuous process and so when we are opening doors when we are opening doors we open doors because we want to allow access but we also close doors because we want to obstruct things that want to come in without our our without us okay, allowing them and therefore opening and closing doors is a frequent activity is something that we do and uh, the word of god tells us in the book of revelation that behold i stand at the door behold i stand at the door jesus is standing at the door and i want us to look at closely at the statement that jesus is saying i stand at the door he's not saying that behold i stood at the door and when you did not open i was not able to come in so i'm sorry i've left jesus is not leaving us with a regret and he's not even saying behold i will stand at the door he's not leaving us in suspense he's not leaving us without clear knowledge of when he's coming he's saying behold right now i'm standing at the door right now jesus is telling us that we might have pushed him out we might have locked him out circumstances might have caused us to lock him out but right now he's standing at the door again knocking the door for us to open the door and allow him him in he is standing at the door and the voice of jesus is the alarm he is saying that anyone who hears my voice anyone who hears my voice and opens the door there are no special people who have the grace of hearing the voice of god there are no special people who are allowed to open the door and there is no special card or no special magical words those ones who grew up during our days you remember the special words open sesame there are no special words that will cause the door to be opened for jesus to come in anybody jesus is saying anyone who opens the door i will come in and dine with him and so perhaps i'm talking to anyone right now and that anyone could be you that anyone could be me we have the opportunity to allow Jesus today to go with us in our activity as we are going out to faint as we are going out to trust God for an open door as we are going out to trust God for open opportunities we can say the first person that we want to allow in is the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus go with me as I go out in my assignment today Jesus go with me as I go out to duty today Jesus go with me I desire that you may guide me I desire that you may walk with me I desire that I may hear your voice the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ is clear this morning that open the door that I may come in open the door that I may come in Jesus wants to come in perhaps you've not committed your life to the Lord Jesus Christ he wants to come in perhaps you already have the Lord Jesus Christ in you but in one way or another you are doubting this morning he wants to come in still he wants to come in and give you peace he wants to come in and give you victories he wants to come in and guide the process he wants to come in and be the victorious the, the victorious man that you can count on 
And so this morning, my dear friend, allow me to suggest to you that wisdom will guide and dictate that you can only open the door for the Lord Jesus Christ to come in and show you, guide you, give you victory as you move to the day. Let me pray with you, even as I allow you to go into your day, trusting that the victorious Jesus will fight your case. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it's a great opportunity again that this day, this morning, we are starting the day with you. How we desire, O King of Glory, that you may come in. We are opening the doors of our understanding. We are opening the doors of our heart. We are opening the doors of our of our spiritual life that you may come in and guide the way for us. With the Lord Jesus Christ, with you, we are victorious. With you, we are healed. With you, we can see a better day. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. And therefore, as my brother, my sister are going into their day today, I want to pray that guide them. They have opened their doors, O oh Lord. Lead them, guide them, fight their way. We give you praise, O oh Lord, because you are good. Let, their, let your goodness be seen in our life today. We bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. The Lord my, bless you, my dear friend. It, it was nice to start the day with you. I'm praying that the Lord Jesus Christ, now that you've opened your door, your heart for the Lord Jesus Christ, may he come through for you. May he come victorious for you. May you see him throughout the day. The Lord bless you. My name is Philip Odera. A great pleasure to see you here. The Lord bless you. We'll see you again. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.